All right, Bubbles, we're creating a brand new campaign for programmers, and we have to come up with a slogan. I got a few here, let's go over them. First we got, my code works, and I have no idea why. No? Next we have, happiness, when your code runs without any errors. Possibly. Next up we have, I are programmer, I make computer, beep boop, beep boop, no, no, definitely no. How about this one? I get it, it's funny because it's true. No, overused anyway. Now let's look at this one. Have you tried explaining it to the rubber duck? I'm sure you'll appreciate that one. Also no, next up we should have, there, it should work now. No, Bubbles, that's the slogan. There, it should work now. What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. Before we hit the computer and start coding, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like if you're enjoying the content, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. In this video, we're going to be creating the campaign, getting the campaign info, and also updating the campaign, all through the TikTok API. As always, links will be in the description below to things like the GitHub repository for the SDK, documentation on TikTok. We got merch, Bubbles merch. Go check out the Printify shop and support the channel there. Don't forget to join the Discord server, join the community, and Keep an eye out for the live streams on all the platforms. Come hang out with me on the live streams. And with that, see you on the computer. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going over campaign creation with the TikTok API. So we're gonna begin over in our business-api.tiktok.com slash portal. Up in the right hand corner, click the little hamburger menu and go to my apps. And then we're gonna click on the app we have set up through the marketing API. This brings us to our application page. We set this application up in our previous video over on YouTube. Go check this video out if you missed it. It is right here, the TikTok for business developers API app and access tokens. We set up the app, we authenticated the user, and we got an access token. Now for this video, we're going to scroll down here until we find the sandbox section, and we're going to set up a new sandbox account here. Create a sandbox ad account. Fill out the form and click submit. The sandbox has been created for us, and we have an access token. You want to make sure you copy and save this access token because it's what we'll be using to communicate with the API. So now we're all set up. We have our advertiser ID and our access token, and we have access to all of these endpoints here. They're all checked. Now we can get into the SDK. We want to hop over to GitHub, jstolpe slash TikTok Business Ads API PHP SDK. Go check out the repository. This is what we're going to be using. We can click on the wiki tab here, and we're going to select create a campaign. This will give us the code snippet we need to use for creating a campaign. So we're going to copy this code snippet right here over in my create campaign.php file. I'm going to paste the code right here. Now let's start at the beginning of this file. First of all, we need our SDK loaded and we need the advertiser ID and the access token, which are included in our defines.php file, which we require in all of these scripts that we're writing. And that looks like this. Here we have our require once, which is loading our TikTok ads the auto loader. Then we have our environment. We're in the sandbox mode. Advertiser ID. You put your advertiser ID in right here. Put your access token in right here. And these are the things that we'll need for uh, creating our campaign. Defines down here. Those we used in our last tutorial on logging in and getting user access token. With our defines file set up, we can go ahead and start updating our code here for creating a campaign. First thing we need is the environment, and that's pulled from our defines file. Same for our access token. That's all we need for instantiating our new campaign class. Now we have to specify some parameters and pass them along to our create function. We need the advertiser ID also coming from our defines file. Then we have to specify our objective type. Now if you don't know what type of objective you want to specify here, you can hop over to the TikTok documentation here. On under create a campaign and this will give you all the information you need for all the parameters what types of what values are allowed what parameters are required based off of other parameters go ahead and check this out and read through it to get a better overview of exactly what you need to do for your ad campaign there's the request here's the parameters advertiser ID required objective type is required and then the list goes on and on here of the parameters you can pass along for this video we're going to do an objective type of reach and then we're going to create a campaign name. Bubbles first campaign. We'll have budget optimization on. The budget optimization goal is reach. Then we're going to specify our bid type. Bid type, no bid. Budget mode. This will be budget mode total. And last but not least is the budget. We'll set this to 100. Now our campaign will be created with our campaign create function right here. And then at the bottom, we're going to check for if the new campaign has any errors. SDK will check to see if there's any errors that came back. If there is, it will echo out the error to us. Otherwise, it should echo out our campaign ID. New campaign, data-campaign ID. And let's also just echo out the whole response. So you can see all the different things that the SDK returns. I normally you just would check for errors or an ID, but this will just give you a little better idea of what we have to work with. So on my local box, I'm heading over to our business folder. There is our createcampaign.php file. We're going to click on it and we should see a campaign created for us on TikTok. 
And we have it. Our Bubbles first campaign has been created. This is the response object here that we got from the SDK. The code is zero and the message is okay, no errors. Now here's all the data we got back from the campaign creation. So if we didn't dump out the entire object, we would just see our campaign ID being echoed down here. And this is our campaign ID. We know it's been created. This is all the settings that the campaign has. If we try to run the script again, we get an error back saying that the campaign name already exists. Please try another one. It has been echoed out down here. And so we know the SDK is handling and returning us the error if it exists. And that is how you create a campaign campaign with the TikTok API PHP SDK. Now we're going to copy our create campaign and we're going to write a git campaign script. Back to our wiki under the endpoints campaigns, we're going to go to git campaigns and now we have our code snippet here for getting info on campaigns. Copy the code snippet into our git campaign script. And let's run through this from the top, query our defines file, we already been over that, using our classes from the SDK, creating our campaign with the environment and access token, and then we come to the campaign where we want to get the data. To do this we call campaign get self function, and here's where we pass in our parameters on what we want to get back. As always we have our advertiser ID, then we have our page size and our page. What this means is how many campaigns do you want to get back for the page. So if you specify 10, you'll always get a list of 10 back, and the page is the page number you're on. So we want to get the first page and we want to get one campaign back. Now down here the SDK allows you to get the next page or the previous page and all you have to do is check to see if the campaign next page request exists. If it does there's another page to get. Same with the previous page request. So if we had a hundred campaigns we would have a hundred pages because we're specifying a page size of one and we're starting on the first page. So the first page we would have a next page which we could get but no previous page. Then we come to the filtering and we're going to filter based on the campaign IDs we want to get back. In our array here we're just concerned with bubbles first campaign campaign, which we created over here. We're going to copy the ID and paste that right here. And this allows for multiple IDs, so you just pass in the campaign IDs you want to get info back for. We're not going to do next or previous page here. We only have one. We're going to do echo, and we're going to print out our campaigns. Back to our business folder, we're now going to click on our gitcampaigns.php file, and it should give us info back on Bubble's first campaign. We got a message back of OK. This is all of the data that came back. Here's our list. Data list, this is where your campaigns would be displayed that you request. So we have a page size of one, we're only getting one page back. Down here we have the page info which TikTok sends us. We're on the first page, page size is one, total pages is one, and we know it's Bubble's first campaign because the campaign name is Bubble's first campaign. That is how you get info on a campaign with a TikTok API PHP SDK. Next up we have our update campaign. So we're going to copy our get campaign script here and we're going to name it update campaign. Update campaign. As always we have a require for the defines file and then we're going to go back to our wiki, click on update campaign, that should take us to the code snippet and we're going to copy this code snippet right here and paste that in our update campaign script. So we're using our TikTok campaign class again, setting up our new campaign as always with the environment and the access token. Now we call our campaign update function and in this function is where we pass in of course the advertiser ID, we always need that. Then we have our campaign ID and we'll replace this here with bubbles first campaign ID that we use in the git script. So we're going to update this campaign and we're going to give it a new campaign name. We'll update it from Bubbles First Campaign to Bubbles First Campaign Updated. And let's echo out our campaign here. Print the campaign object. Back to our business folder we're going to click on our update campaign script this time. Here is our campaign object from the SDK. Scroll down to the data. Here is the campaign data and we're specifically looking at the campaign name has been updated. Now if we hop back to our tab and run our git campaign script we should see the campaign name has been updated. Refresh the git campaign script. Scroll down look for the campaign name and the data. This is our list of campaigns that are coming back and our campaign name has been updated. So that is how you run an update on a campaign campaign with the TikTok API PHP SDK. You just specify the advertiser ID, the campaign ID, and then you can update uh, any fields that you need to accordingly. The next endpoint we're going to look at is updating the operation statuses for campaigns. This allows you to enable, disable, or delete a campaign. So we pass along the advertiser ID, the campaign IDs that we want to update, and then the operation status delete, disable, or enable for those campaign IDs. Let's copy over our update campaign script here, say update campaign status. Then back to our wiki, clicking on update campaign operation status. Here is the code snippet. Go ahead and copy that snippet. And this top bit is the same. I'm just going to copy the actual function we're running, which is a status update. Place our campaign update here with status update. Now we put our advertiser ID in here, advertiser ID, the campaign IDs that we want to update. Let's update our bubbles campaign. There's our ID for the bubbles campaign and the status. 
let's do a disable. Disable. When we created our campaign here, our create script, we have data operation status enable. So now we're going to set that to disable. Back to our business folder, we're going to run our update campaign status script here, and it should update the operational status of our campaign. We got a message of OK, everything's good, and our status has been set to disabled. Let's run our git campaign script once more. It should get our bubbles first campaign. There we go, campaign name, bubbles first campaign updated. And now you see the operation status is disabled because we just used our update status endpoint to update the operation status of the campaign. And that is going to wrap up our video here on the campaign side of the TikTok API. We created a campaign, we got the campaign info, we updated the campaign name, and we updated the operational status of that campaign as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.